This line right there over here represents the height at which one of the flows, probably the last flow, through this tube. In fact, here's another high level mark right here of a prior flow flowing through here. And so inside the tube are all these different levels that are recorded by levels of the lava as it flowed through here from the crater down to Hilo. Lava tubes are hugely important. This is the only way with a lava tube that you can create an island that's this big. The lava tubes are channels, underground channels, where the lava comes out of the ground and then flows for miles and miles and miles. Because inside a lava tube, it can keep its heat. A lava on the surface cools 20 minutes. If we get on the flows and we got stuck with a lava flow going by and we can't get back to the cars, just wait 20 minutes and then we can cross. Fast, of course, okay? But <clears throat> it hardens in 20 minutes. It loses the heat really fast, that's the point. Well, you know, if a lava flow cools so fast, how can it flow from here all the way down to Hilo and keep its heat? It can't. And that's where lava tubes are so critically important because they let the lava keep its heat and go for huge miles, and it's that way that you build up an island that's this big, and a mountain that's as big as Mauna Loa.